As Black River Falls High School prepares for the new additions to the building, many teachers and students find themselves making big changes. There will be a significant impact. We have to uh, move everything out of the existing ag room uh, and into the construction trailer and a storage container that we have. You know, the, the classroom in the trailer uh, is not going to be ideal, but we'll have to try to make that work. Um, we're hoping to be able to have a smart board set up in there internet access as well, uh, but it will be a much tighter quarters than we're used to here in the uh, ag classroom. Honestly, it's going to present challenges, but it's not something that I think will affect student learning, so I'm not overly concerned about it. My biggest thing is I'm worried about, I know I got a lot of students that want to use the restroom during class or need to go back to their lockers, and they can't just walk out the door and go down the hallway anymore. So. Um, my biggest concern with that is honestly just passes, because the rest of it I think will it'll, it'll be okay. For some teachers, the construction may even make it difficult to prepare for class. I'm going to have to, if I want to make copies or something and I can't run down to the teacher's lounge to get my copies right in between classes, I'm actually going to have to be totally prepared at the beginning of the day. So that'll be something a little bit different for me. Although moving the classroom may be frustrating, everyone seems to still be excited for the outcome. Honestly, I'm up for it. My biggest concern is the move, having the pack everything up and get everything out there and just be ready by the 30th. But once we're out there, I think things will go smoothly. Moving the room into a smaller space also sacrifices ongoing agriculture projects. There's a lot of things that we've accumulated over time here. Um, and it'll be a great opportunity to purge some things that, that haven't been used for a long time. We're trying to minimize uh, as, as much as we can. You know, the fish, which normally we would have uh, kept raising until the end of May, uh, we're going to need to be done with them. We just have no place to go with the fish. Uh, uh, the plants in the greenhouse, we're, we are dismantling a couple of the hydroponic systems uh, that normally we would have going through the end of the school year, but we're going to stop a couple of those. We're hoping to be able to continue uh, quite a bit of the greenhouse operations though, um, and, and we're hoping to have that uh, scenario figured out exactly how we're going to be able to do that. Another big change to the high school is the way that lunch will be served. Starting March 30th, we'll have to um, serve out of the West Gym and um, our equipment will have to be moved down to the West Gym, our steam tables, our warmers, um, all the tables, um, milk coolers, and when it comes to product, we'll have to cook all the product in the kitchen up here and then take it down the elevator into the gym. As far as moving our um, food down into the commons, just having enough for each group down there, not having to shuttle back and forth, um, running up the steps, going down the elevators with product. Um, due to the, the time constraints we are, we will be using all styro trays and silverware um, for the remainder of the year. Um, we also have to look at altering menus for, to, to make things easier to serve for the staff. And it's progress, so we'll work through it and we'll, we'll get through it.